This is a recent incident that reminds the detective of a case in the United States where a teenager killed someone in the street because of his young age. And in the courtroom, this person not only had no remorse, but even talked and laughed and defiantly said to the victim's family that it doesn't matter. I'll be home soon. But for this kind of contempt for life, the judge will not tolerate it. And the ending is happy, everyone, this is Inspector Onion. And today I bring you the white shooting in the United States. This case also starts with the victim Jordan Rick. He's young, he's a very good member of the school football team, and he's been offered by several big schools before the crime, and he's likely to become a football superstar in the future. And yet, this is the same boy with a bright future who was killed because of some scumbag's personal vendetta. On October 4th, 2016, Jordan was walking home when he suddenly encountered three thugs. The other party saw that the clothes and shoes he was wearing were very handsome, and he reached out to grab them. Of course, Jordan didn't want to, so the two sides scuffled, but what he didn't expect was that during the argument, the other party suddenly took out a gun and rushed at him and opened the tree. This Jordan died on the spot, and afterwards the thug took his money and clothes and fled the scene of the crime in a hurry. When a sanitation worker found Jordan's body, he immediately called the police. The police quickly arrested the three with the help of surveillance. The man who shot was Dante White, and the other two were Delala Craig and Jelanos Allison. Since the latter two were already in their 20s and adults, they were quickly prosecuted for murder and eventually sentenced to 40 years in prison, but Dante was a bit special. At the time of the crime, he was relatively young and underage. In accordance with the relevant laws and entered into a major criminal justice process in the United States, plea negotiations. For criminals like Dante, there's often a money hearing to negotiate a guilty plea. In other words, through this mechanism, as long as the defendant admits guilt is sincere and expresses his willingness to repent after obtaining the forgiveness of the victim's family, he can often reduce the charge he is finally charged with or reduce his sentence or even avoid prison, which is a very favorable opportunity for the defendant. I thought that Dante would seize this opportunity to repent and confess his guilt and win sympathy, but what I didn't expect was that he not only did not admit his guilt, but was also very arrogant, constantly provoking the victim's family at the hearing. So where does his confidence come from? On June 26, 2017, a hearing was held in the Washtenaux County Court in Michigan to negotiate Dante's guilty plea. Later, when asked about the details of the crime, his face was unwavering and his tone was calm, as if he was talking about what to eat at noon. This scumbag's indifferent attitude stung the mother so much that he was so sad that he couldn't control his emotions and broke out crying. Even when it was my turn to speak, I couldn't speak. I had to ask my cousin to speak for me. Jordan couldn't have a future. Jordan couldn't go to college. Jordan couldn't have a relationship or have a family of his own. And not only did I lose my only child, my son, my baby, my friend, I also lost my joy and love. Hearing these words, Jordan's mother couldn't cry silently, and several times, she almost fainted. And at this time, Dante, looking at the mother who had just lost her son, felt very funny, rubbing her hands like a fly, smiling all over her face, as if watching a play, seeing Dante's nonchalant appearance, this Jordan's mother was so angry. They went on to accuse Dante. Why do you think you can have it all? Why do you think you can satisfy all your desires? You killed him to satisfy your own desires. We can't accept this reason. Drugs, mobile phones, money, jewelry, whatever desires you feel is more important than his life. Your lust will never compare to Jordan's death. Dante didn't feel any guilt in the face of these accusations, and he kept smiling with eight big white teeth, and even laughed even more, laughing at the pain of the victim's families. Dante's appearance stung the mother so deeply that he almost broke down. I hope you'll feel cold even if you put on your coat in the future, and I hope that you'll always have holes in your shoes when you put them on. I want you to be hungry forever even if you eat. I want you to never have sleep when you want to. I want you to never see your mother when you want to. You can imagine how much this mother hates this murderer, and he can't contain his anger at this time. I'm not like you, I don't want anything from you. I just want you to go to jail, and the longer the better so that you can experience a worse life than you have now. This mother who had just lost her son was completely enraged by Dante. He cursed madly in court in front of the murderer of his own son, but I didn't expect this murderer's heart to be touched in the slightest, still constantly provoking the jury seems to be saying that I am a minor, what can you do with me? Until the end, the judge couldn't stand it. Everyone present sympathized with the mother and wept, but Dante did not know what to do, and he not only turned a deaf ear to the suffering of the deceased's mother, but even made provocative remarks. I want to tell you that I will be able to come home soon and that I love my family. Hearing this, even the judge couldn't believe it and asked aloud if this is what you were trying to say. To this question, Dante only said yes lightly. During the hearing, it was as if Dent was watching a boring show the whole time, without enough respect for the courtroom, and it all fell into the eyes of the judge. His contempt for life, his trampling on the law, made the judge's face darken, because it was not the kind of confession he was expecting, 
and in my 23-year career, I have always accepted plea agreements. But today I see you sitting there, smiling and shaking your head, as if it were no big deal, and I have decided not to accept your guilty plea, and I want you to stand trial, child, and your right to a second trial has been denied the case to a jury if you are convicted, you will spend the rest of your life in prison, which means that you will die there, that's what I want to do. And Dante's expression at this moment is like this. He was already scared stupid, and it was completely beyond his expectations, and his expression changed from arrogant to panicked. He took advantage of his young age to do whatever he wanted, and even mocked the victim's families, but he didn't expect that his plea agreement would be rejected. And at a loss, he could only look at his lawyer for help, and the lawyer also racked his brains to help Dante get away with the crime, saying that Dante had no malicious intentions, he just missed his family very much. Plus he had low emotional intelligence and couldn't speak, so he said that. And Dante's mother also helped her son quibble at the scene, saying that Dante was born with a slight filial piety, and no one had the intention of provoking Jordan's mother. At this time, Dante also changed his previous arrogant ghost appearance and began to apologize frantically. Seeing that the judge was unmoved, Dante's mother said that her son was mentally ill and couldn't control himself, but whoever asserted that he would provide evidence you said that your own son was mentally ill, and you took out the appraisal report and you couldn't take it out. Eventually, after a jury deliberation, Dante was sentenced to 50 years in prison, and he had to serve at least 25 years before he could be released on parole, which meant that he would not be able to get out of prison until he was at least 42 years old. Hearing the verdict, Dent was completely desperate and thought about seeking help from the lawyer again. But at this time, the lawyer had nothing to say, turned around and left, leaving Dent stunned in place. As soon as this case came out, major newspapers in the United States rushed to report it, and many people agreed with this happy result. Some netizens said that the law protects the perpetrators because of their age, which leads them to break the law without fear. Tolerance for the perpetrator is cruelty to the victim, and the cost of the crime should be increased so that these wicked people can't afford it, so that they will have some scruples. This issue of the case is all over. For more cases, please pay attention to Inspector Onion, and we'll see you next time.